What's happening everyone? I am Frostful Phoenix, but most people call me Ben. Today we have had another drop of Paldean Fates here in Australia. So we will be opening up three of these, I call them maxi tins, you can call them just tins, premium tins, whatever you like. So we have a great tusk here. We have the iron treads, how cool is that one? And it was very, very hard to find, but we also have the Charizard tin was sold out almost everywhere because obviously everybody wants a Charizard. We also have a full sealed box of the mini tins. So we're gonna open up both products. We're going to see who has the better hit rates, what's more worth it for you guys. And I guess that's it. Let's get into it. We'll save the Charizard for last because I feel like everybody's gonna wanna see that one last. So we're gonna start with the Iron Treads tin, if I can get the plastic off, there we go, and let's have a look and see what is inside, obviously it's got the Paldean Fates uh, pattern on the tin, we also get the Iron Treads uh, full art, shiny, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, ultra rare, I think, is what they have started calling these. So there it is, the Iron Treads EX. Full art shiny, very cool. And the code card, upside down as always. We also get five packs in these ones. So there they all are, all the pack arts and an extra Tinker Tough. So without too much more pulling apart and looking at everything. Let's just get into these. And we'll just go straight through them. Charcadad, Clobopus, Varroom, Frigibax, Primate, Wimps Cot, Scrafty, Noibat Reverse, Woobat Reverse, and the Heat Rotom. There is your code card. So nothing on the first pack, but we got a lot of packs to get through today, which I'm super happy for because I love opening Pokemon cards. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We open Pokemon cards here. Scraggy, Flittle, Wooper, Grievard, Backpack. Ooh, the Scizor Baby Shiny. How cool is that? I love that green on him. That's so cool. And a Wooper and a Goldango. That is such a cool Baby Shiny. We will go over everything that we get at the end. I haven't put my sleeves here with me today, so... Unfortunately, we're going to go through everything with my fingers. Hopefully, they're not too oily. Oh, well, if they are. But yes, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming. Please consider subscribing if you are into Pokemon cards like we are. We love opening some Pokemon cards here. We are doing a giveaway. Nothing in that pack. We are doing a giveaway once we get 4,000 public watch hours on the channel. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you would like to win that and start watching some of our content because there's a lot of it now and it, I hope it's gotten better as we've gone along over this past eight months or so that we've been on YouTube. Noibat, Chimeco, Oink Alone, Moonlit Hill, Camerupt. Oh, baby shiny Peldan Whooper. What a cutie. Oh, that's so cool. As I said, we will go over everything at the end of the video. But for now, here is our last pack for our Iron Treads uh, Maxi Tin. We've pulled two Baby Shinies out of it, so maybe not the best hit rate, but pretty good. And I think I can see something. I can see something. It is the Squawkabilly Full Art Shiny. Such a good one. Chimeco, some Professor's Research. There is your code card. So... Three hits out of that tin. We will get into our other Paradox Don fan. Three hits out of that tin, not bad for five packs. Because honestly, we usually look at it about a one in three hit rate. And we found with this set, it's probably almost closer to a one in two. But we will get out our great tusk. There it is in all of its full art shiny glory. There is the upside down code card for you all. Put that slightly out of the way and there is some packs. 
another five packs for this one, and fingers crossed there's five packs in with Charizard as well. And we will start off with a Fido. Haunter, Cottony, Maractus, Ultra Ball, Primate, Whimsicott, Noibat Reverse, Woobat Reverse, ooh, the Aspathra EX. Not sure if we need that one, but there it is. Add it to the pile. Code card for you all. Cerule Edge. Pack artwork for our second pack. I have found that I think the Don Dozo pack artwork has the better hits in it. Not sure if anybody else has sort of kept track of what they've pulled out of what packs, but yeah, the Don Dozo has definitely been lucky for us. Nothing out of the first two packs, so hopefully we can pick it up. Otherwise, I think the Iron Treads will definitely be the winner out of these two. We are still looking, of course, for the Mew Special Illustration Rare and the Charizard Special Illustration Rare. Nothing out of this pack either. Two to go. This is this this one's not going too well for us. There wasn't a Don Dozo pack artwork in here either, so maybe that's why Don Dozo brings all of the luck. And he just wasn't in this box at all. Oh, the Tandem Mouse shiny. Okay, well that is something. It's barely different as a shiny, but it's still something. There is the code card. Very pretty little mouse. And we will move on to our last pack. Hopefully this has got a double hitter in it. Otherwise, the Iron Treads has definitely taken it out of these two. As we start off with a Mastiff. Obviously not a lot of cards from the base set of this one, so you will see a fair few double ups. Nothing in that one either. So I think the Iron Treads safely has the win on that one, but we will now get into the Charizard. As I will open it slightly off camera. There we go. Oh, and it doesn't want to come open, so hopefully that means it's got some good stuff inside it. But I suppose we shall see as we get our first look at a shiny Terra Charizard. Very pretty. And upside down code card for you guys. And there are our five packs. Now let's see if the five packs can bring any heat. I don't know that Haldane Fates has really had an off day for us since we've started opening it, which was only a couple of weeks ago. It's all been very good so far. There is a Shiny Weavile, so the Charizard already bringing some of the luck. Shiny Weavile will go over later. Uh, I think I will save the Don Dozo for last because, as I said, it's been lucky for me. I don't know if anybody else has been keeping track, but Don Dozo just seems to have the hits for me. So let's see if we can find anything else. Nothing in that one. But yeah, let us know down below. Tell us what else you'd like to see on the channel. Would you like to see us open other sets? I will do my best to find older stuff to open if we can track it down. Nothing in that one either. Hopefully I'm right and the Don Dozo does have a hit in it. Because Charizard is on one so far. So if I'm recommending you buy any right now, it is definitely Iron Treads. There is the Ralts Baby Shiny. I know somebody will be happy that we've pulled that. Such a cutie. Ooh, and a Pommy Art Rare. That is our third hit. That was my chase card for the set, but we have so many of them now. They are so cute, and I love them so much. I'll have one to add to my Pommy folder. We'll get into this last pack, but that is three hits out of Charizard. So if you can track down a Charizard... Maxi tin, I would suggest doing that because it seems to be the best, but it is the most popular because it's Charizard, of course. Flittle, Scrafty, Paldean Clodsire EX. So yes, Charizard takes the win by one card just because of its double hit. All right, I will go through my stack of bulk later. There might be some reverse hollows we need in there, but for now, we will get into this box look at all of the very cute artwork i know my camera is not on the best angle for it 
There is a palafin. There's all their artwork up the top. So cute. We'll open the entire box, which will be 10 tins, so 20 packs. Put it all together. And we'll start off with Smoliv. Shiny Smoliv, front and center. Will these be easy to open? Probably not. Never had much luck opening mini tins. There is our Smoliv artwork. There is also our Smoliv sticker. And our two packs. And I'll stick the. Oh, and our two packs of Pikachu and Dondozo. Which is already a good start for these mini tins. Pack artwork that we like to see. Starting off with some students. There are so many students in Paldea and they all keep popping up. Toad's Cool, Baby Shiny to start off the mini tins with. So they are already paying off for us. Stick that one up there. And we will open up our Don Dozo pack. Smoliv, so cute. Already bringing some shiny friends with it. As we start off with Lapras, there's Toad School again. Atticus Mousehold backpack. There is another poor me art rare. And there is a code card. So that is now four poor me art rares that we've gotten, I think, which. I love poor me. I love shiny poor me. It's so cute, but I don't. I don't need. I don't need that one anymore. I, I need the Charizard and the Mew now. Hopefully, one of these tins has it. Hopefully, let's see. There is our little Tink artwork. I will put them all together at the end as well, and we can have a look at those together. Here are our two packs. So a hit out of both of the packs for Smoliv as well, which that's always a good thing. Woobat, Scrag, Gimme, Magma, Mousehold, Luxray, baby shiny. That completes the Luxray line for us. Such a good shiny too. Such a good shiny. So hits, hits are plenty out of mini tins. I think, honestly, value wise, mini tins might be a little bit better. Because I know the price for the bigger tins, the maxi tins, varies a fair amount. The mini tins tend to stay a little bit lower. Ooh, Paldean Students Full Art. Not one that we need, but still a hit, which makes another two hits out of the mini tins for us. Very, very cool. As we will get into our mouse hold and tandem mouse, and there's a lot of mice. There is a lot of mice on this on this pack. As I am running out of room very quickly to put everything that I'm pulling apart here. Let's just stick that up there. Here are some packs. I have seen people struggle with pull rates from the mini tins, but it looks as though these ones are actually really good for us at least. There's there's another poor me. And rot on heat. So I think um I think there might be a little bit of batching with this one. Cause that that that's that's like three pormies today. Oh, what do I know? I'm 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 just some guy who likes opening Pokemon cards and loves poor me. And there's an Abra Baby Shiny as well. Again, not one we need, but very, very cool. Baby Shiny is always awesome to see. And that, again, is a hit out of both both packs out of the tin. As we come up on the Palafin or Finizen or whichever dolphin you'd like to call it. I'm pretty sure it's the Finizen. As these are all the babies, there is its artwork and its sticker. I know I'm not putting these in order, but this is just what I can do for now. Pikachu and Dondozo love seeing those packs because they generally mean hits, but 
everything seems to mean hits out of these mini tins. So perfect sort of gift price, perfect gift size. If you have a Pokemon fan, there's another Rotom Heat. If you have a Pokemon fan in the house, actually that's our first pack of mini tins with no hit in it. Feeling a little disappointed now. I'm kidding. It's hard to feel disappointed when you're opening Paldean Fates. This is such a good set. Very light on cards that we already had. There is the other Paldean students. I told you there were a lot of students in Paldea. So there is the other Paldean students full art. Very, very cool. And we'll get into our last artwork, which is going to be Flamigo. We'll, uh, we'll pretend that it's not just a flamingo, but it is definitely just a flamingo. He likes to punch people, apparently, which seems really rude, but I'm not a flamingo, so what would I know? Once again, we'll save the Dondozo pack for last. More Paldean students. There is a Gengar, Rare Candy Gimmigool, and some Professor's Research. Okay, we are starting to see packs in these tins that don't have hits. So apparently they aren't all completely stacked, but they're still pretty good. Paldean Fates has been a very, very good set for us. We just really, really need to pull... Oh, okay, that's our first mini tin with no hits. So if I'm going to recommend anything, it's going to be stay away from the flamingos. But let's see if I can't work out how this artwork goes together. Just that one goes there, and that goes there, and here we go. It all looks very pretty once it's put together. There it is. Aren't they all very, very cute? And that will go into the folder because... I'm crazy and have to collect everything. It's just what I do. As we will start off with our next mini tin, which is going to be another flamingo. We'll see if this one is worth picking up or not. Hopefully it is, but it's hard to know so early on. First pack I think we've had that doesn't have one of the artworks that I want to see. But that's all good. Let's have a look-see. Anyway, more Paldean students. Iono, Grappalocked, Mimikyu, Houndstone. I think we might really be just pulling the last of the reverse hollows we need out of these few because, as I said, it is a relatively small set if you don't include all of the baby shinies and SARs and all the rest of it. There, there is another Pormy. There might be a batching thing going on with these. That's that's so many Pormies. That's so many Pormies, guys. So many Pormies. As we get into some more dolphins, which have two Pikachus in there. Isn't that cool? Love good Pikachu. As I struggle to open the pack. Wooper, Execute, Mankey, Flittle, TM, Mousehold, Annihilate, Charmeleon, Raichu. Nothing in that one. Would really appreciate the Pikachu Baby Shiny as well. Because I know that one's a bit pricey and honestly I'd like to pull it myself. But we'll see. They can't all be winners, like that one, unfortunately. No winners in that one. Oh, okay. This one's a little weird. Just packaged incorrectly, hopefully. Maybe somebody broke in and put only Charizards in this one, hopefully. Maybe. Who knows? There is our extras. Hmm. Bit odd. Bit odd. It's alright. We'll open it up still. That's a very sticky pack. Doesn't want to let the cards out, which I don't appreciate. Code card. Nothing in that one though. 
What about this one? Coming down to it, we've only got two mini tins left. I think mini tins definitely worth it. There might be a bit of a batching issue. Ooh, as we get the Clive full art. Not the SAR, but still very cool. Still a hit for us. But yeah, mini tins. Definitely look into mini tins. Only around $20, roughly. And so far, definitely worth it. We've had far more hits than not. So definitely worth looking into these ones, picking some up, getting them for a gift, whatever you want to do, it's all worth it. Clubberpuss, Varroom, Moonlit Hill, Noibat, Dead N.A., Rotom Heat. I think we're sort of starting to get back towards the 1 in 2 hit rate, rather than the 1 in 1 that we had at the start of this, which was really, really cool. That's all good. I have still had a lot of fun opening these ones today. Code card for you all. As we get into our last tin. Mice. Mice everywhere. Will the mice bring the cheese? Or will we be cheeseless? Hard to tell. Hopefully they have some cheese. We'll save Don Dozo for last. Don Dozo did us really well a couple of weeks ago when we saved him for last. So we will save him for last and hope that he has the cheese. Primate. Professor's research. Don Dozo must have the cheese. Let's find out. Thank you so much for watching today. This has been super duper fun to open. It's always super duper fun to open Pokemon cards, but it is awesome to be able to do it for you all. There is a Neuvern EX to finish it off, so Dondozo did have the cheese, it just wasn't super, super good cheese, it was like Coles brand tasty cheese. Maybe Woolworths, whichever. But here is our relatively sizable stack of hits, so our Neuvern EX, Clive Full Art, there is one Pormy, Paldean Students, Abra Baby Shiny, two Pormies, Paldean Students again, Luxray, three Pormies, Toad Scroll Baby Shiny, Paldean Clodsire, four Pormies, Ralts, Weavile, Charizard, our promo from the tin, Tandem Mouse Baby Shiny, Spathra, Great Tusk promo, Squawkabilly Full Art, Paldean Wooper, Scizor, Baby Shiny, and our Iron Treads promo from the tin. So, just from today, here are our four Pormies that we pulled. So, there's some Pormies. There might be a batching issue here. There might not be. But it's super cool to have all these really cute little Pormies. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Frostful Phoenix. You've been amazing, as always. Stay tuned. We will have another video coming out very, very soon. And we've got a bunch of new products coming out next week. So there'll be a new video on that as well. Thank you so much again for watching. I've been Frostful Phoenix. You've been amazing. Good luck with your pulls.